Welcome to this Saturday travel and history tip. And we will be remaining in the state of Pennsylvania, but we will be going over to Foster Township in Lucerne County to see Eckley Miners Village. We visited this village many, many years ago, and we recently had the opportunity to go back. A stop on the state's industrial heritage trail, Eckley Miners Village in Weatherly, epitomizes one of hundreds of the original anthracite mining towns that flourished throughout Pennsylvania. Walk down the main street passing by the breaker, company store, a doctor's office, churches and homes from days gone by. One of the last coal companies to own the town sold it to a group interested in preserving the site. They deeded Eckley to the Pennsylvania Historical and Museum Commission. And today, the former company owned Village depicts a way of life that prevailed in the region for over 140 years. Eckley is one of hundreds of company mining towns or patches built in the anthracite region through the 19th century. Founded in 1854 as Fillmore, it was renamed for noted mining engineer Eckley Cox. It was built to house anthracite coal miners and their families, many European immigrants. Coal patch towns like Eckley were common in northeast Pennsylvania in the late 1800s and early 1900s. Collier operations declined by the 1950s, but the site was restored with the 1970 film The Molly Maguires. Anthracite coal was the heating and iron-making fuel of choice for much of the 19th and early 20th centuries. Almost all the anthracite came from northeastern Pennsylvania during that time. Eckley Miners Village was first opened in 1854, while coal mining was becoming the predominant regional industry. A collier breaker, houses, churches, hotel, school, and company store were erected over the next 75 years by the mine owners. Both the village and its underlying minerals were controlled by the owners during its 115 years as a private concern. Because the owners made few changes or improvements in the community, the village's original appearance is easy to see. The village provides today's visitors with an authentic reflection of the life in an anthracite mining town. The Commonwealth of Pennsylvania acquired the village from a local preservation organization in 1971 and opened it as a museum in 1975. We were there a week before the park was actually going to have the visitor center open, but a lady that worked there was kind enough to step outside and talk with us for a while and give us this great brochure and allow us to walk on the property and, and view the buildings from the exterior. The first stop is the Immaculate Conception Church Rectory from 1861. It is the museum shop. The Gothic Revival House was home to Eckley's parish priest. Next is the Church of the Immaculate Conception, also constructed in 1861, and it is open to the public with a guide. There are laborers' double dwellings that were built around 1854. These small houses at the eastern end of the village were occupied by the Collier's unskilled laborers. The structures, constructed by attaching wide planks to a rigid frame, had clapboard exteriors and plaster wall interiors. Each family had four rooms, a summer kitchen, and a shallow stone cellar to store food grown in the backyard gardens. On Back or South Street, the cottage from 1854 is the only original one of its type remaining on the street that once had 32 similar dwellings. Then we pass by the Eckley Social and Sports Club, which was constructed in 1946. In 1946, the Cox brothers permitted the village residents to construct a clubhouse, and in 1947, the Eckley Social and Sports Club was chartered. The club was not permitted to sell spiritous or vinous intoxicating liquor. The club still maintains the building. Paramount Studios used the building for shots of the fictional Emerald House during the filming of the Molly Maguires. There are other double dwellings and family dwellings built between 1854 and 1875, and the company store, also built for the Film. The original store was located at the west end of town, and the building now houses an exhibit on regional company stores, and it is open to the public only during special events. But the most fascinating structure out there is the Breaker, which was built in 1968. This movie prop stands near the site of one of the three original Council Ridge Breakers. Mined lump coal was cleaned and sized in the Breaker, often by injured or elderly workers or young boys. It is not open to the public. There is the Presbyterian Church site. Then there is also St. James Protestant Episcopal Church, which was constructed in 1859.
We passed by the foundations of the Eckley Hotel, circa 1857. This hotel contained the only bar room in the village, the site of celebrations, oyster suppers, and St. Patrick's Day banquets. It burned in the mid-1920s. A beautiful building is the doctor's office. George S. Wentz was Eckley's first company doctor. He treated mining accident victims and villagers too ill to be treated by home remedies. In later years, he was replaced by a resident nurse. And then there's the site of the original company store. The store sold mining supplies to the colliery workers and food, clothing, and household goods to their families. After 1857, it also included the village post office. While supplying the needs of an isolated community, store issued credit contributed to miners' indebtedness to the coal company. By the early 20th century, the store was privately operated. Then we saw the mine owner's house, constructed in 1861. The mine owners lived in the largest and most fashionable houses, located away from the miners' cottages and colliery buildings. Richard Sharp's Gothic Revival style house was the last constructed. And then there is a reconstructed mule barn and feed barn. The mission of this village is to educate the public about anthracite coal mining along the Patch Towns and their residents through the preservation and exploration of the site and its collection. In Pennsylvania, all roads lead to history. To help find your path, the Pennsylvania Historical and Museum Commission has blazed several special interest trails leading to some of Pennsylvania's most historic sites. Pennsylvania is an amazing state to learn about American history. American history. Learn it. Love it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Please tell others about our Saturday travel and history tips. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like, subscribe. If you hit the notification bell, you will be alerted when we upload new videos. Thank you.